Guardiola vs Arteta, the duel of masters and masters. Pep Guardiola and Mikel Arteta have been friends for more than two decades, colleagues at Barcelona and Man City. Tonight, for the first time, they are big rivals at a big stage. Guardiola, Arteta's great friend. I am forever grateful to Pep, who inspires me both as a player and as a coach. Without him in important moments of my life, I would not have understood football coach Mikel Arteta could not hide his pride when talking about his great friend, great teacher Pep Guardiola. Let's dissect Pep's role in each step of Arteta's career, to understand why the Arsenal captain adores Pep so much. Guardiola and Arteta belong to different generations, but have the same starting point as students of the famous La Masia Training Academy. Pep played for the first team of Barcelona since 1990 and stayed there until 2001, reaping many glory and leaving a strong mark as a deep-lying midfielder. Arteta is 11 years younger than his senior and is considered to have similar qualities to Pep. When Arteta grew up, Barca had an extremely outstanding Xavi. But that did not stop the Basque boy from turning to Guardiola, trying to follow suit with the thick football of Tiki Taka. In 1998, after a pre-season friendly at Barca, Guardiola went to Arteta and dismissed the worries that surrounded his juniors. At the same time, Pep helps Arteta see and re-evaluate his entire performance in the match. He was my idol at the age of 16, Arteta always remembers that day. Guardiola and Arteta's professional football paths have not intersected in more than a decade but they have always kept in touch, their personalities and football philosophies naturally connected. When Barcelona faced Chelsea in the 2012 Champions League, coach Guardiola called Arteta, then wearing an Arsenal shirt, to consult the midfielder's understanding of the city's rivals. Arteta's views and analysis of opponents made a deep impression on Pep. Pep believes that he has found a good assistant if he comes to England one day. Arteta told Sky Sports last December, when I was 30 years old, he, Pep, called me crazy and said, if one day I come to England to work, will you become my assistant? I laughed and thought it was too early. Arteta stayed with Arsenal until the end of the 2015-16 season, shortly after becoming Pep's deputy at Man City. Uncompromising wits. When we were here together, Man City, every time the team scored, Arteta jumped up to celebrate. However, there is only one exception. That team, when we scored and celebrated, I suddenly turned around and saw him still sitting there. Of course, it's Arsenal. So I knew that one day Arteta would come to Arsenal, because that's where he belongs, coach Pep Guardiola recalled. Man City has come a long way in its development, a team with a lot of money, led by a great coach, achieved huge success and became one of the best performing clubs in the world. Arsenal is another starting point. The Gunners are trying to regain their lost identity after the era of manager Arsene Wenger. They faltered and then lost their way. Against this backdrop, on December 22, 2019, Arteta returned to North London with a clear plan. However, that plan takes a lot of time, and it must be calculated in years. Firing Arteta would be a big mistake for Arsenal, coach Pep Guardiola boldly announced on December 23, 2020. That is, on the day of the one-year anniversary of agreeing to lead the Gunners, Arteta was almost fired. It was Pep's Man City who put Arteta in that situation, after Man City ruined Arsenal 4-1 in the League Cup. Arteta knows Guardiola's Man City better than anyone, but that doesn't help much either. So far, between them are seven confrontations on the training bench. Only once did Arteta beat his teacher, a 2-0 win in the 2019-20 Cup semi-final. Just like in his playing days, Arteta is determined to shed the label of Guardiola imitator to become his own person. The full backs reversed, maximizing midfield every time Arsenal had the ball, the tweaks of coach Arteta even outside the philosophy of the Pep playbook. 
An example is the contrasting roles played by striker Gabriel Jesus at the two clubs, highlighting the subtle differences between the two coaches. Overall, Arsenal has made significant progress in the three years Arteta has led this team. But on a personal level, there is little sign that he is finally out of Pep Guardiola's shadow. Will tonight be such a night? Pep's pride Coach Pep Guardiola has led Man City through 250 matches in the English Premier League, with 184 victories, reaching a rate of 73.6%, the number one in the history of the tournament. Even legendary coach Alex Ferguson is 8.4% behind Pep while Klopp is third with a win rate of 62.6%. Pep's number of defeats is also the least, only 34 matches.